Hey guys, this is Nate here. I've got a quick word for you guys. Um, so in a few hours, I'm going to be releasing a word that has, oh man, this word has rocked me this week. If you're a, if you're a worshiper, if you're a writer, if you're a painter, if you're some kind of creative, uh, this word's going to resonate with you for the season that we're in right now. And uh, it's something that came out of an encounter with the Lord. And uh, I really felt the Lord just continue to add and compound to this word during the week. And I'm going to be releasing that in a few hours. And um, I really I really know this word carries weight with it. I know it carries an atmosphere with it. And then I know it carries, um, it carries impartation and conception with this word. And um, I actually felt the Lord say to get on here, share a little bit. And this pray for people and just to release this impartation for what God's about to do in the earth. Now, I'm not going to spoil the, um, the word too much. I, I just want, really want it to be something powerful for you. But, um, you know, something about creativity. Creativity can't take place outside of conception. We can, we can be creative, um, you know, and it comes out of our, I'm talking about kingdom creativity can't be, it can't come out of anywhere except for intimacy with the Lord. Intimacy is where it takes place. If you want it to be, Something that comes from heaven, it comes from intimacy. That's why David, he had such um, a creative mantle upon his life because he was it was birthed in intimacy, you know. And I feel like the Lord is in this season that He's releasing. He's He's He's. There's a conception that is taking place in the creatives around the earth. There's something that's taking place that's innovative. It's like God's leading us into this place of of new. There's this innovative ideas. There's songs, everything. And what is it for? It's to carry the heart heartbeat of heaven to be a catalyst of revival and there's revival that's being released through the creative people through people that would that would just live in the throne room of God so much that they'd be impregnated with these thoughts with these ideas with these innovations with all these things so that we can be carriers of revival on the earth and I, I'm just so moved by what God showed me this week I feel like it's going to be a theme for me constantly this year because I know it's not just something for this month I know it's something that's for this year. I know it's something for the years ahead that God is releasing this creative, um, the, the, there's, there's people that are they're entrepreneurs, there's people that are that are artists, writers, there's books that are going to come from this place. And I just know that it's so powerful. And um, I share in my word about renaissance and what takes place when there's a clashing of kingdoms. And we can see the clashing of kingdoms that's taking place around the world right now. And now an answer that always comes in the middle of, of all these clashing of kingdoms is a renaissance takes place the artists rise up there's something that takes place when we're squashed and when we're crushed and we're in this place that we feel like giving up that creativity comes out of us i heard leland from uh from bethel collective say that the other week that you know he stopped he, he got off his phone for a while and he was like i need 30 days just to refocus and he found that you know prior to that he wasn't having any creativity flow and he's like i need to get bored and sometimes when you're bored sometimes it's when you got when it's like you are when there's even this crushing when there's this pressing that takes place creativity comes out of that place out of the place of pain creativity comes and I believe that people have been through this journey where there's been pain where there's been crushing where there's been transition where there's been change and creativity is about to burst forth so guys I want to pray and release this fire I know it's early in America right now but I know people get on here if you're in New Zealand and Australia I'm going to release the fire over you I believe Australian and New Zealand are creatives um, are really emerging right now as well and they carry a unique raw and authentic sound and right now I just declare awakening over Australia and New Zealand I just declare even the islands will awaken to the sound uh, uh, you know the islands I feel like there's something about the islands I feel like there's a sound that's coming from the islands New Zealand Australia the, the you know the, the great south lands of the Holy Spirit I feel like there's a sound that's going to come forth out of a place of, of apathy out of a place of, of mediocrity and complacency will come a sound that will trumpet forth and then and our nations of Australia and New Zealand will experience revival by the uprising of these creative worshippers these kingdom artists and I just rely, right now release the impartation right now Lord that you would visit your creatives you would visit these kingdom artists right now Lord in their homes father there would be impregnation there would be conception that would take place father your thoughts your intents your songs your desires your words Lord God this says Lord the scripture says that we are the pen of the ready rider that the riders would come forth in this season to take back the mountain that take back the mountain and we're taking back the mountain no no longer will these people stand on the artist mountain I believe 
souvenirs to come, we'll look back and go, wow, like, these people used to stand, um, you know, just totally worshipping the enemy on the mountains of influence, but now the artists have taken it back for the glory of God, and the glory is filling the earth. The glory is filling the earth. The glory is filling the earth. Lord, release the fire upon this scope in Jesus' name, upon this broadcast, Lord. Release your fire. Release your kingdom creativity. Release, Lord God, your ideas. Release it right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just thank you, Father, that people have dreams. The people, Lord God, be woken in the night to hear lyrics and songs and sounds and things they've never heard before. In 2009, I had this encounter with the Lord where he showed me a sound of an end time revival. It's a soundtrack and it's music I still have not to this day heard. I believe in this hour it's coming. I believe that this soundtrack is being released right now. There's amazing music that is just being pioneered and released at the moment and it's great, but I feel like there's a sound that's coming still. There's a sound that's coming. And you know what? If you're in this place, I said it the other day in my broadcast, if you're feeling like, well, what I need to release, it hasn't been done yet. It feels so different. You need to release it. You need to release it. Have courage. Risk it. You need to release it. And this is not just for songwriters. This is not just for worship. But this is for writers. Any kind of creativity, and I believe that most of us are creative in some way. I believe that God is releasing upon us that we have strategies and answers and things that are are uh, even meant to problem solve a lot of the things in the earth that is within you you know even even science there's creativity in that and I believe God's releasing it now in the earth there's gonna be inventions there's gonna, there's gonna be things that are released that are going to be an answer for problems in the earth it is in you and I call it out in the name of Jesus amen bless you guys I know this is a quick one but Read my word later. I hope it's going to bless you. I know it's going to be something that's going to just reverberate. I felt the Lord say to me, as people read this word, there's going to be conception will take place. Well, I believe the same thing even now for this this uh, broadcast. As you're hearing this right now, there's something that's taking place in you. There's a leaping in your womb. Even in the dead places of your life where you've laid down some of those old dreams. Where you laid down a gift and expression, you've gone, well, that didn't work out for me. I hear the Lord saying, no, it's time to raise up your voice again. It's time to pull out your pen again. It's time to pull out that paintbrush again. It's time to start again because I'm breathing afresh on my people. I'm breathing afresh upon my kingdom creators for this hour and they're going to release a new sound. They're going to release a new sound. They're going to release a new sound in the name of Jesus. Guys, be blessed and share this if you want. I know this is going to bless a lot of people and uh, combined with this word, I know that it's just going to rock a lot of hearts and set so, so many people free and release them into their destiny. Bless you guys. Bye.